Hi, good afternoon folks. In this video, game day. The Sabres are in Winnipeg. Let's look at it. Coming up. Okay, it's nice to talk about anything except negative crap. I want to get on. I want to talk about hockey games again and, you know, let's not worry about who's what and who we got to trade and who's not playing well. Let's look at the game and the upcoming game is a big one and I'm going to tell you why. First of all, I'm a Winnipeg Blue Bomber fan. The Bombers won the Grey Cup. I know for you U.S. folks out there, I say, what the hell is a Grey Cup, Wayne? <laughs> like, it's our, it's our Canadian Football League out here. I've been a Bombers fan a long time, and we won. We finally ended like a 28-year drought two years ago. And then last year, COVID, there was no games out here because it's not a very rich league, right? And then out here this year, they played only 14, not 18 games. And uh, they were first all year, and then they rested their good players in the last two games. And you guys know, uh, as NFL fans, what that can do to a team. If you start resting your good players, you lose momentum. That happened. But they just escaped narrowly and won the Grey Cup in overtime. I was thrilled. So I called my friend in Winnipeg, Jennifer. She's out in Winnipeg. And I gave her a call, and she started going on about me about how the Jets are playing the Sabres. We were talking about that, too. So let's look at this. Rookie Netminder. UPL has made three consecutive starts, has a 938 save percentage and a 1.98 goals against average in those games. And that's, and that's the end of the video. <laughs> you know, that's the end of the video. That's it. Tell you right there, guys, that's it. That's all we need to know. And I'm hoping they go with them because it's either that or Dell, guys. It's why concede a loss, you know, the way I see it. Could Dell play good? Yeah, but I don't believe the players in front of him have any confidence when he's in. And I think with UPL, it's starting to settle the team down defensively. Right? I think. I, I mean, this is what I see. The team seems to be settled into a better defensive game all of a sudden with him and Nets. It keeps things calm when your goalie's making good stops. It keeps things calm. So I want to go that, I want to believe that that's where we're headed and that's where uh, this team, I, there's, not, there's nothing to say that we can't have a good, we can't have a good spell. Guys, we just finished 3, 14 and 3 in a 20 game span, right? I'm hoping, okay, and maybe some of you are thinking along the same, I'm hoping that's the last hard 20 game stretch that we have for the next 10 years like that. I'm hoping because we have all these young studs in the minors and um, all sorts of things. Meanwhile, I want you guys to be prepared. There's a Christmas video coming out you're gonna have a little fun with. I won't even give it away. I was uh, writing out uh, some, some things yesterday on it. I basically wrote out the script to it yesterday. It needs a script. And then we'll have a little fun with that, I'm hoping. So it won't be a long video, like four, four minute video, but it's, it's gonna be a little fun for you guys in preparing. With the help of my uh, son-in-law, who's going to be involved in this project. I need his help for this one. I'll explain that eventually. But be prepared. Have a little fun, guys. We've got to have fun on the holidays, too. We can't just be moping around like zombies, being Sabres fans with our head down. And come on, you know, tis the season, man. Tell your family you love them. Do all these things. Life's important. It's more important than hockey. It's more important than hockey. So when it, when it comes down back to hockey, when it comes down to this, I got to be right thinking UPL is going to play tonight. I just have to be right. I mean, if we go with Dell, it's like, are you serious? This goalie's on the verge of winning a game for sure. And if he's going to have an off game, all of us will feel okay about it. You know, if he lets in five or six goals, I think all of us will be fine with it. If, if Dell goes in, you know what you guys are going to come and say later? You're going to say, Wayne, I knew it. I knew we were finished. I knew. <laughs> like, that's what you're going to say. So, and I'm going to say I agree because there's no reason to put in Dell. No more Dell. I don't get this, this thing they have for Aaron Dell. I don't get it. Anyway, I don't want to like stress myself with this because it's just a game. It's just a regular season game. And, and yes, a lot of you have been pointing out to me and I've checked into it. You're right about the offside thing there with Darlene and that game. Let it go, guys. Don't waste your energy on it. Don't. Because... Us losing that point might be the difference of getting Shane Wright at the end of the year. So keep that thought in mind, okay? Really, forget it. It's, it doesn't matter. 
We're not making the playoffs most likely anyway. Take a look at us. Is it really going to make the world a difference? No. But I mean, I, I, was, I was ticked off when, I, when, I, when the truth came out after because I didn't see that in the game, not until it, over and over and over and it was reviewed. And You know, if anything, maybe the NHL needs to look at these things that they got to overturn. You know, the, I hate the fact they don't overturn calls they know they got wrong, that they got wrong. They should overturn them. Like there's times we've seen in games, especially in playoff games, overturn the bad calls. Even if you think it's, you, you know, I, oh, well, they made the final call. It doesn't matter. Overturn it anyway. They got to figure out a system for that. They do. Too much on the line when there's a thing called the Stanley Cup. There is. And we all know as fans. You know, I'm not going to go on and on about the whole Brett Hall thing, but it never bothered me, guys. Believe it or not. 2006 kills me still to this date. 99, no. They, get, they put out a memorandum to teams that the, there was a rule change. A lot of folks don't know this. There was a rule change about that crease rule, eh? About the puck going forward. They were allowed to be in the crease. Teams were sent out mem memorandums. The NHL public wasn't. That's just something I should throw out there for people to know. It's true. Now, getting back to this game with all my ranting and raving about other crap right now is... I want to see UPL in because I'm going to be more excited to watch the game if UPL's in Nets. It gives me a reason as a fan to get excited and, and say, wow, I really want to see this. I want to see UPL again. It's the most exciting thing that's happened to our team in a while. And this is why I said, guys, why I said it doesn't make any difference, his numbers in the minors. Get rid of that thinking. Really, get rid of it. It doesn't ma it makes no difference, really. Sometimes guys in the, in the minors come up and they just flourish in the NHL. And some guys, sometimes guys are studs in the minor, stellar in the minor, and they never get an NHL career going. It just, luck of the draw. They roll the dice, and that's how it happens sometimes. For some, not all, for some. So if we put in UPL, I say we got to ride this hot streak of his. We got to keep him going. I don't care. You know I wanted, I said it more than once, I wanted him to get about six games in this year. The way he's going, he might get 10 or 15. He might. I, I, that might be pushing it, but he might. I don't think we're going to keep him up, guys. I'll be honest. I know we should, the way he looks. If anything, we might send him back with a head of confidence to Rochester to go and win a title this year. Think about that part, too, okay? I know we want to have our own selfish reasons why we want him on the team, but think about what a championship would do for that young man coming up next year on to our team. Just think about it. Because no matter what... In reality, we don't really need him this year, but he's fun to watch, and I would love him to get like 10 games in. I'm shooting for 10. If, if he could get 10 games in this year, I'd be thrilled with that. Thrilled. Thrilled with that with good numbers. Send him back down. Tell him next year you're coming up. This is your final stint down there. Make the best of it. Go for it. You guys go for it. Try to win the title. Do everything you can. And Rochester's still winning, so they're getting better. And UPL, you know, I mean, I think UPL, a, a head of confidence, UPL going back to Rochester is a good thing for us as Sabres fans eventually. My thoughts. Not, doesn't mean I'm right. I could be wrong. Just my thoughts. I really do think if we do go that route, in the long run, it's smarter for us. Because up comes a young man with good, solid playoff experience. He's going to be like 23 then, way more ready way more developed in his game, not scared of the NHL anymore, understands our system in Buffalo, understands Granado, familiar with the city of Buffalo, familiar with the, the, the building, the dressing room, the owner, just familiar, more familiar. And now he kind of fits in like you put it, putting a glove on your hand all of a sudden, you know? We should go that route. Okay, I'm ranting and raving just about UPL. Uh, in this game, I just want to see the Sabres win because I want to win. No other reason. I just want to win. I want to win a game. I'm sick of losing. I want to win a game. But I would love UPL to go in there and win something like 3-2 to two tonight. And it's all because of his goaltending. I can handle a win like that one more time if it's, if it's UPL, especially if it's the kid doing it. For sure. For sure. For sure. So I'm going to leave it there. I want to get this video out. i got a ton of things i got to do today. My body's feeling good, so I want to get a bunch of stuff done that I... No more bedridden. I'm sick and... You know, I, I had these visions, guys. I'm going to wind up like in some psych ward 
watching cartoons and eating green jello or something. You know what I mean? It's, it's enough. I, I, needed, I need to get active and get around and get things done. And I got work lined up. There's all sorts of things that are good if the body says yes. And you guys know what that's about, some of you. So, all right. Love you guys. I'll see you tonight. I will be there at some point after the game. I am going to do a video after the game because I'm feeling really good today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video after the game. And my head's clearing up, so a lot of things are making more sense. I don't know, my head when it's unclear, you know. And anyway, I don't, even, I don't want to talk about that. So tonight, I'll, I will see you in the post game, win or lose. And if we lose, we lose. If UPLs and Nets, that's going to be my main focus. I'll tell you right now, if you want to come see the video or not, I'm going to be talking a lot about our goaltending. I'm going to be watching UPL. Please, dear God, put UPL and Nets tonight. Please let it happen, you know. See you then, guys. Have a great afternoon.